The Fresno Fire Department reminding residents tonight to be very careful using any space heaters in their homes. And it comes after more than a dozen people were displaced when an apartment complex went up in flames. Ben Morris joining us live from the complex where that fire happened with a reminder from first responders. Ben. That's right. Fresno Fire's PIO telling me 13% of all home fires around the country are started from space heaters. And that, excuse me, and that, uh, you know, everybody should always take caution when using them, you know, so you don't have a similar instance to what happened here last night. Here's the scene of firefighters working to extinguish the fire on East Weldon in North Angus last night. We do find this most common during the winter months as folks are looking for ways to stay warm and try and save money on uh, heating. Jonathan Lopez of the Fresno Fire Department says problems usually happen due to human error. One of the things they can do is to make sure, first of all, that they always plug their space heater directly into the wall socket. Don't plug it into a power strip. Don't use an extension cord. Make sure that there is at least three feet of clearance around the space heater. Lopez says certain items are especially dangerous. Nowadays, we have a lot more uh, building materials in uh, like clothing and in furniture that is made from synthetic fabrics, which is all petroleum based. So all of that stuff uh, will melt and it, when it catches fire, it burns hotter. Fresno Ag Hardware's manager has seen people constantly coming in to buy them, but says you won't be saving money if you try to heat the whole home. If you stay in the room you're heating, you don't have to spend a fortune. These things, I mean, they draw power, they're, they're making your utility bill go up. So if you can, you know, shrink, you know, try, don't try to heat the whole house with one of these. Fresno Fire also wants to remind you to have working smoke and carbon monoxide detectors in your home, as those are the first line of defense in case anything like this happens. Reporting live, Ben Morris, KC24, Local News That Matters.